welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a two days in the life of me living in London um, over the summer. So I actually have the flat to myself at the moment because Rob is back in Derry doing an acting job this week. So I've had a really nice weekend seeing Molly and New on one evening and then Liv and Lizzie came over for a sleepover as well. So I've had a super nice weekend with my friends. But I now have two days more or less to myself before I go back to my family home on Wednesday because we're going on a holiday at the weekend and I actually have tickets to see Les Mis on Wednesday in Birmingham which was a present for my cousin's 19th birthday. Um, he's now 21 so yeah thanks Covid. But I thought I would just show you kind of what my average day is looking like at the moment. Obviously I'm making the most of just not really having all that much to fill my time apart from YouTube which has been so lovely and a much needed break before the chaos of my journalist training course starts in September and then most likely a job soon after that so so yeah I'm really just enjoying um exploring London a little bit you guys sent me loads of recommendations which I am working on putting into lists so once I've got those, I'll probably be sharing them on my Instagram. So you can go follow me over there if you want some London recommendations. But today I'm just having a super chilled day. I think I'm going to try and get rush tickets for a show this evening. I'm thinking Book of Mormon because I've been meaning to do that. Um, and I'm off to the gym in a little while. I've just had some breakfast and I'm drinking my tea out of my Abba Voyage camping mug. Which, can I say that the second the hot water hit the mug, the winner takes it all came on the radio. Like, we also have a meeting this morning because we are picking some new hosts for the Meridian podcast. If you guys remember, the Meridian was a project that I was doing over COVID and as amazing as it was, I just did not have time to do it in my final year. So we're kind of in the process of it changing hands. And yeah, I think that's about it so far planned for today. I also have some admin work to do um, and that's about it. P.S. How beautiful are these sunflowers that Liv got me for a move-in present? They're literally gorgeous and... The vase is equally as gorgeous so thank you so much Liv. So I'll just take you along with me today and tomorrow and I really hope you enjoy. Hi guys so I'm just popping on here to let you know that today's video is actually very kindly sponsored by the wonderful people over at Babbel. So as you'll probably be aware I've just finished a degree in modern languages and I'm missing the language learning side of it already so alongside keeping up my Spanish and German I'm really keen to start learning a little bit of Italian as well. Not only does speaking another language look really good on job applications, it's also a really rewarding pastime, A, to train your brain, and B, to learn a little bit more about other languages and cultures. You can choose to learn 14 different languages, whether that's French, Spanish, Polish, German, you name it. And what I really love about Babbel is that it doesn't just throw random vocab at you and expect you to learn through mindless repetition. Instead, it focuses on getting you speaking as quickly as possible with real life vocabulary for real life situations. In the app, the lessons incorporate all the key skills that you'll need from grammar and vocab to speaking and listening. And with over 150 language experts behind each lesson, you can be sure that you're in safe hands whilst learning a language. And what's more, and what I really love, is there are other ways to switch up your learning beyond just using the lessons on the app. With Babbel Live, you can learn using online tutoring sessions with world-class teachers. And I love that because it gives you the classroom feel, but you can do it from the comfort of your own home. Or if you fancy doing some language learning whilst you're on the go, the Babbel podcast has language experts revealing their top tips and secrets about the language and also delving a little bit more into the culture surrounding them. Or finally, if you want a bit of a break for your brain, but you still want to keep learning, then they have games and videos that can help you do that too. From as little as 10 minutes a day, Babbel makes it so easy to incorporate language learning into your day-to-day -day life. I love how interactive it is and I've really been enjoying doing lots of speaking so here's a clip of me doing one of the Italian lessons. Come ti chiami? Come ti chiami? Piacere, io mi chiamo Andrea. Piacere, io mi chiamo Andrea. Ciao, io sono Federica. Ciao, io sono Federica. So if you'd like to start your language speaking journey, you can click the link down in the description box below to get 30% off, three month, six month, and lifetime access to Babbel. As I said, I really just love that it gets you speaking and stuck in straight away so that you can see results that you can use tangibly in the real world as quickly as possible. Thank you so much to Babbel for sponsoring this vlog and without further ado, let's get on with the rest of the video.
Hello everyone, I'm ready for the gym. Um, top is from Women's Best. Leggings are from Fabletics. Trainers are from ASOS. Um, I've just got a meeting now to pick or like to talk to some of the new podcast host people and I'm also gonna try and get some rush tickets. And then it's arm day at the gym, which as you can tell by my puny arms is needed. Um, and maybe some abs, but it's never ab day because I always start the ab exercises and realize I have no core strength, so probably cardio. <laughs> Absolutely gas. I just got a front row ticket to the Book of Mormon tonight for 25 pounds. So we just had the podcast meetings, which were super, super good. Um, I really miss doing journalism stuff. I vowed to myself that I would take a break from like all of that when I was doing my final year because I knew that that was what I wanted to focus on. But obviously now I'm going into doing this NCTJ, like that is where I'm turning my attention. I didn't pick up any freelance work over the summer because I was moving and I also figured that I kind of deserved a bit of a break. But Ollie is currently freelancing at Times Radio and I was just chatting to him about all of that. And yeah, it's just getting me really excited to get back on it and get back. And my placement that I'm doing is at a radio station as well. So I'm super, super excited. Anyway, I'm now going to go to the gym via the post office and yeah, go and listen to a podcast probably actually um, and do some working out. So I just headed on over to the gym. It was absolutely roasting this day, so I was gonna be really careful like not to overexert myself too much because I always find that if it's a hot day and you do too much, it always just ends badly. How cool are the key cards at this gym that that like unlocks the locker? It's so cool. Anyway, it's very, very bougie gym. I did a few clips of some of my arm workout exercises. I know this looks like I'm doing nothing, but I have no arm strength, so. That was that, and then after I did my arm workout, I did a 15 minutes on the incline Stairmaster thing, and then 15 minutes incline walk on the highest incline on treadmill, because uh, I always find that helps. Howdy, I'm back from the gym, very, very red. Anyone else out there go bright red every single time they exercise, because it's a real struggle. Anyway, um, it's now just gone like, it's about 12.30, so I'm actually gonna eat before I have a shower because I'm feeling like I really, really need some food. So I'm just gonna be using up all the stuff I've got in the fridge because I won't be here for 10 days, so it's gonna be a very eclectic lunch. Um, and I'm also gonna have like a protein shake. This is my favorite, um, would really recommend um, because now I'm not eating meat again, it's quite hard to get protein in my diet when I'm doing weights. Uh, obviously I'm not trying to get like super hench and I don't have a super like, strict gym routine but i do always notice a bit of a difference in like muscle like gaining muscle and like muscle definition when i increase my protein intake obviously because that's like what the science says anyway sorry this is not a fitness channel um yeah so i'm gonna have some lunch have a shower and then we're gonna get set to work on doing some admin this afternoon I've just finished adding all of the links to this link tree which is in my Instagram bio so if you ever have any recommendations that you'd like me to add feel free to DM me on Instagram and I will add them to the list but yeah I'm really happy with this it means that I can start compiling places that I love as well and adding those to the list hey guys so I'm gonna aim to leave here at about six o'clock because the show starts at 7 30 so it is now coming up to half past four I've just dried my hair and I'm gonna just chill for a little bit then get ready and then make myself some dinner. I'm just having the leftover risotto from last night that I made with a fish cake that I have in the freezer and some asparagus that I need using up. So yeah. Hello everyone, I am very sweaty, which I don't know why I am because I haven't done anything to make me sweaty. But I am now off to the theatre to go and see Book of Mormon. I'm super, super excited. I'll let you know how it is and of course I'll take you along with me. I decided not to even bother putting makeup on because I'm like who's gonna see me realistically um, and I'm just wearing something super light and breathable and I'm just hoping it'll be nice and cool in the theatre. So I headed off to Clapham North Station which is one of the very few stations left that has like the platforms on either side which I think is super cool but not great at rush hour but equally 
kind of cool. Anyway, I got there like half an hour early because I keep thinking I need longer than I actually do to get placed in London at the moment. Um, so I just had a mooch around Soho, Leicester Square, obviously avoided mainly because tourists everywhere. Sorry, that was a car horn. Um, I went to Chinatown, um, which is one of my favorite places to eat. Um, and just have a look around, see if there are any new restaurants that popped up that Rob and I could try. But we have our favourites, to be fair. So, um, yeah, and just sort of went and looked around at what shows were on. Um, and then headed over to the theatre to watch Book of Mormon. And this was my view. This is with the camera, like, panned out. Like, how amazing is this view? Good morning, everybody. So, it is currently just coming up to 10 o'clock. I actually got up kind of early this morning. I couldn't get back to sleep. So I watched the closing ceremony of the Commonwealth Games, which honestly made me really emotional. I am gutted that I didn't go. I initially thought I was away, like the week, the week and a half that it was on. So I didn't get any tickets. And then we moved the date of the holiday. And by that point, like pretty much everything had sold out. And I wanted to go up, but I didn't really have anyone to go with that's around. So it is a shame, but it has been amazing watching it on the TV. And it's just made me very proud as much as I complain about West Bromwich and Birmingham and West Midlands at times. Like, I am very proud to be from Birmingham. I'm excited to go back up tomorrow. So today I have a couple more meetings for the podcast and then I'm actually going to head out because I do have packing to do, I do have to clean the flat but I can do that this evening. I'm meeting Liv and Lizzie at about 5 o'clock to go and see the Elvis movie which I have really been wanting to see. So I'm actually going to take myself for a little day out. Um, I'm going to go to St Catherine's Docks which is what a lot of you guys suggested and then make my way back across um, over to like Borough Market, the Tower of London, stuff like that. So it's going to be a really fun day. So off I headed, back out in the sun, um, with my SPF on, obviously, um, and got the tube down to London Bridge and then to Tower Hill, um, which honestly was lovely because this, uh, this line was air conditioned and you really do notice the difference. Um, and then I went to Super Bloom at the Tower of London, I didn't pay to go in, but I just had a walk around and it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, I don't think I would pay, but it's nice to view from distance. Um, and then after that, I headed on out of there. Um, there's still just some clips of this. I don't know what else to say at this current point. Anyway, yeah, so after that, I headed down towards Tower Bridge because a lot of you had told me to go to St. Catherine Docks, St. Catherine's Docks, um, which I've never been to before, and they were absolutely gorgeous. Um, will 100% be going again. I think I'm actually going to ZZ's to use our club card vouchers this weekend because... If you didn't know, you can get so many good deals on restaurants with your club card vouchers. So please do use it for that because you get more value for money than if you use it for your shopping. Anyway, I got distracted. Then I had a nice little iced coffee and just enjoyed the view. Hi everyone. So I am just at the St. Catherine Docks, which are so beautiful. Like, aim in life is to live in one of these flats. Imagine, genuinely, it's stunning. There's flowers everywhere. It's just absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm now going to head over to Borough Market. I think, I know it's really known for being quite overpriced, but I've never tried it and I'd like to try it once. I'm having a bit of a touristy day, so I'm just going to bite the bullet and try out some of the food there. So after my exploration of the beautiful St. Catherine Docks, I then went to Borough Market, which I didn't get anything from because you guys are right, it is just so overpriced. I feel like there are definitely better food markets out there. So if there are any that you prefer, please do let me know because I was not paying £13 for fish and chips. It's not happening. Anyway, I went for a look to find somewhere for lunch and I ended up just going for prep because I was getting hot and frustrated. And I went and sat and ate that outside the globe on the river, which was absolutely lovely. And then I walked over the, oh, is it the Millennium Bridge? Is that the one in Harry Potter? Um, I walked over that bridge and basically just headed over to the other side of the river because um, I was meeting Liv and Lizzie. We were actually going to the cinema to see um, Elvis. I can't believe I literally forgot what we were seeing. I genuinely saw it a few days ago. But I decided to just go around Covent Garden and stuff while I was waiting for them. And then we went and sat in the park and just had a nice relaxing time before we went to the movie. <coughs> Just casual friend activities. <laughs> <laughs> Best vlog clip of all time. We currently have the cinema to ourselves. We're in the second row, but it's actually not that bad, to be fair. What would you like to contribute? The, the, the music's just making me crack up because I feel like I'm at Harry Potter world with a bit with the Hogwarts, do you know? Don't trust <laughs> bitches! <laughs> Don't 
So I didn't really film an outro for this video, as is typical with me these days. Honestly, I don't know why I always forget, but I really, really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know what sort of vlogs you'd like to see as I'm kind of transitioning into starting a new course. Would you like a prep with me for the course vlog? Would you like a week in the life, even though I probably couldn't film the actual course itself? Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see from me. Thank you so much to Babbel for sponsoring this video. Don't forget, if you click the link down in the description, you can get 30% off three months, six months, and lifetime access to Babbel. And if you're keen to learn language, as I always am, then be sure to give it a try. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely week, and I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye, guys. Mwah.